Hi, welcome to Physics Teacher. So in this video, we are doing a grade 11 physics lab on projectile motion. And what we have here is a spring launcher that's going to launch a projectile with an initial velocity of about 4.4 meters per second. We're going to double check that with this photo gate timer, which will measure the initial velocity of our projectile. And then using that information, we are going to try to hit a target. I'll show you the first one, and then I'll have two challenges for you at the end of the video. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to fire this just horizontally in order to measure the initial velocity of our projectile. We'll do it twice so that we can get an average because it won't be perfect every single time. All right, so we turn this on, start saying zero, zero, ready to record. Three, two, one. All right, we got 4.19 meters per second. Let's try this again. We'll load our second projectile. And three, two, one. We get 4.17 meters per second. All right, now that we know initial velocity, we're going to fire it perfectly horizontally off the table. And we need to place that cup at the right horizontal distance so that it's a bullseye. We're going to need one more piece of information before doing that. First, let's figure out the height that we're launching from, from the floor. So when we do that, we get a height of about 1 meter and 17 centimeters. So 1.17 meters. We're also going to need to know the height of the cup from the floor. And that turns out to be about 25 centimeters. So the difference in those two heights will tell us the vertical displacement of the projectile. So let's go and do our calculations. All right, so here we have our projectile launcher on top of a table, which we know has a height of 1.17 meters. That's right, 1.17 meters. And we're going to be launching the ball perfectly horizontal. So it's gonna have an X component to its velocity of about 4.2 meters per second. Now, because it's being launched perfectly horizontal, its initial vertical velocity is going to be zero meters per second. And then the projectile's goal is to go into our cup here, where our cup's height from the ground is a height of 0 0.25 meters or 25 centimeters. And so immediately we can figure out the displacement in Y, meaning from here down to here is a difference of 1.17 meters minus 0 0.25 meters. So this is going to tell us our displacement in Y or our vertical displacement. And that is going to equal 0 0.92 meters. And don't forget that is a vector. So let's write down. Now what we want to calculate is this horizontal range so we know where to place the cup. So that's our goal. What is delta dx? So let's make a chart of our given information so we know what we have. And we're going to split that chart up into what we know in our horizontal direction and what we know in our vertical direction. So in our horizontal direction, we know velocity is 4.2 meters per second forward. Um, and that's all we know. We don't know range and we don't know time. Now we do know that in our horizontal component, there is no acceleration. So the only equation we can use in our horizontal component is delta dx is equal to velocity times time. So in order to solve for delta dx, we need to know time. All right, let's look at what we know in y. Well, we know what our displacement in y is. We just calculated that. So our displacement in y 
is going to be 0 0.92 meters down. Uh, we know acceleration in y, because that's due to gravity. So that's going to be 9.8 meters per second squared down. And we know our initial velocity, since it's being launched horizontally. So our initial velocity in y is 0 meters per second. So that's three pieces of information. So we can use those pieces of information to find time. So we're going to go to our motion equation, specifically this one, where we say delta dy is equal to viy times time plus one half ay delta t squared. Now viy is zero, so zero times whatever time is is just going to be zero. So this whole term can just disappear. And we're left with the following, ay delta t squared. Now I should always have a coordinate system. And for this one, I can use a simple coordinate system where I'm going to make it down our positive y direction. And I'm choosing that because all of our vectors in y are down. So it's just avoiding any negative numbers there. All right, so let's rearrange for time. If I multiply both sides by 2, I'll get 2 delta dy is equal to ay times time squared. Divide both sides by a. So when we do that, it cancels on the right, and it comes to the left. And then I can take the square root of both sides of that equation to figure out what delta t is. So delta t is then going to be the square root of 2 times our displacement, which is 0 0.92 meters, our vertical displacement, all divided by our acceleration, which is 9.8 meters per second squared and that gives us a time of 0 0.43 and I'm going to put an extra significant digit since this is just an intermediate step 3 seconds. All right well now we know time that's great so now we can calculate displacements let's do that over here so displacement in x is then going to be our velocity in x which we know is 4.2 meters per second and then our time, which is 0 0.433 seconds. And that's going to give us a horizontal displacement or a range of 1.82 meters. All right, let's go shoot. All right, now that our calculations are done, I have it placed at the correct horizontal distance. Let's fire and see what happens. And three, two, one. <laughs> Bullseye. All right, now for our first challenge. What I'm going to do is I'm going to raise the target. So it's at a new height from the floor now. And that height is 50 centimeters, so half a meter. So what I want you to do is redo the calculations and tell me in the comments for challenge one how far away to put the target. All right, so I've replaced the target. I've had to move it a little bit closer. I'll let you tell me how far away it is. Well, let's see how we do. In three, two, one. Bullseye. All right, so this is our last, our second challenge. And what you're going to do now is you're going to be launching at an angle. Now, this angle is at 45 degrees. The initial velocity is still 4.4 meters per second. So what you're going to have to do, and I'll give you a hint, is you're going to have to calculate your horizontal and vertical velocities using that angle. Now our target is set to be at the exact same height, meaning if we hit the target, its vertical displacement has not changed. So that's your second hint. Vertical displacement or our displacement in Y is zero. Make your calculations. Tell me in the comments what that range is, the horizontal range. All right, we're gonna fire in three, two, one, bullseye. In three, two, one. 
in three, two, one. Three, two, one. And three, two, one. And three, two, one. In three, two, one. Really? Off the rim. <laughs> in three, two, one. Oh, it swirled in and then out again. <laughs> Come on. In three, two, one. Two, one. Oh, three, two, one. Oh, that's right off of it. <laughs>